All right, yeah, Soldier 64 name 6 Contrary video, and this is with Naruto is half Yuga half Senju part three. I hope you guys enjoy another part of this critically acclaimed series after, well, the long hiatus of this series went on. And again, shout out to you guys for watching the video. Shout out to, well, my social media are on screen. Part two is linked in the description if you haven't seen that. And now, without further ado, let's get right into the story. Not wasting time. Let's get into this. All right, in the last part, we ended right at the start of the tuning exams arc which is where we're going to pick up our story. Team Shizune will be entered into Chinx Dance by, well, you guessed it, Shizune, along with Kakashi and Asuma entering their teams in Chinx Dance as well, because the Rookie 9 was the most qualified to enter Chinx Dance in the first place besides Team Guy, at least from the Leaf, of course. And there's nothing in the story that's going to change that, so, yeah. Meanwhile, Naruto will walk along and we'll see Konohamaru get mugged by Konkuro because Konohamaru bumped into him. Yikes, Konkuro is kind of a moron. And a terrible person. You ain't gonna catch me bullying a kid for bumping into me. But isn't Conqueror kid himself, you ask? Yeah, he's a teenager. So no excuse. I wasn't pulling that shit when I was a teenager. All you're doing at that point is picking on someone who's weaker than you. Like, come on, get out of here with that shit. Anyways, Naruto will hear someone try to talk Conqueror out of this. And we'll see as a girl with Samp on hair, who we know as Tamari. And yes, we'll be doing the Tamari pairing for this what if as Average Josh's comment one the battle of the pairings between Tamari and Karin. Can't wait to write this pairing, and sorry Karin fans, but I have something special planned for Karin, so don't worry about it. Anyways, Naruto will know that this girl is decently attractive, but is more focused on saving Konohamaru because Naruto is that guy. He will fire off his wood at Konkuro, pause, and will smack Konkuro in the face of it, causing him to let go of Konohamaru. Tamari is surprised as she just saw this blonde can use wood release, and he seems to be decently skilled. Konkuro is shocked as well, but... All of that is kind of dwarfed by his anger, as he does not like being hit like that by wood. Again, pause. And he decides to bring out the crow. Well, he almost brings it out, until Gar appears and makes him back off. Gar will then ask Naruto his name, and Naruto will give him his name. And Gar will say he will remember that name and can't wait to fight him in the tuning exams. And Naruto will say the same. When the trio is about to leave, Naruto will say, wait, one more thing. Gar and the trio will stop, and Naruto will ask, what is your name? Naruto asks, pointing towards Tamari. Tamari is a bit surprised at first, but will give her name, and Naruto will say, nice name. I can't wait to fight you as well in the tuning exams. Tamari's a bit flushed, but she will say the same. Meanwhile, Conqueror will say, hey, what about me? And then Naruto will say, what about you? Conqueror will get annoyed, but he has to back off as he kind of realizes he was a little bit in the wrong, but at the same time, his pride has been hit a lot. <laughs> Anyways, the Saiyan siblings will walk away, and then Konarma will ask, well, boss, are you trying to work your charms on that Saiyan Kunishi? Nothing like that. Well, at least not yet, Naruto answers. You're so cool, boss, Konohamaru says, and Naruto will just smile. And by the way, yeah, Naruto and Konohamaru still have that brotherly bond, so, you know, it's kind of cool. Or you could call it soon slash master type relationship later, but I don't care. I just like Naruto and Konohamaru's dynamic. It's a, it's a cool dynamic. Anyways, Shizune will announce to her free game that they're in the tuning exams and a real big side and can't wait for these exams to begin. We'll then see our favorite team go to the academy around a week later and not do much as while Rockley tries to challenge Naruto, he'll be like, no thank you, as he does not want to be in a matchup that overly favors Rockley since he would fight without his ninjutsu and brings to the point to Rock Lee that he wouldn't be proving anything about him being a splendid or strong ninja who only uses Taijutsu if he fights Naruto with the handicap. Lee's eyes will then widen in realization and he will say, Yosh, you're right. I nearly desecrate everything Guy Sensei taught me by doing something like this. Thank you, Naruto. I hope I get to face you in the actual Chuni exams. Naruto will say the same, and then Lee will leave, and all of Team Shizune will conclude that Rock Lee is really, really weird. Anyways, we'll see the first round of Chuni exams start with Naruto asking Kabuto about certain competitors, such as Gar and Tamari, and he'll get some decent information about her being pretty strong, and that she's a bit of a fan user with Wind and Juicy style, but not much else, while with Gar, he gets around the same information as Canon. We'll see the same stuff in the first round of Chuni exams happen, Except in this timeline, Naruto will use his Byakugan to cheat, but it will still all end the same way, as everyone who passed the can will pass due to Naruto not backing down. Again, this result will never change unless I make Naruto a complete wuss, which I know damn well y'all don't want, and I would hate to write. All the gain who pass will make it to the second round, 
unlike Detroit Lions who can't make it past the first round, and we will see Team Shizune head to the Forest of Death. The combination of Naruto, Hinata, and Shino is able to get the scrolls they need relatively quickly, which means they can now focus on heading to the tower. As they are approaching it, they will see what the original Team 8 saw in this can timeline, which is Gar killing those ninja in the forest rather brutally. I believe they're a rain ninja, I think. Hinata and Shino are both terrified, and Naruto is definitely shaken up as why wouldn't he be unless he is a robot. As Gar is ready to find out who else is there as he senses their presence, Konkuro and Tamara are able to stop him, or maybe Gara decided to give him mercy, and the Sand Trio will leave, while we see Naruto ready for all the smoke in his hiding spot with Team 8. He may have been terrified, but he ain't gonna go down without a fight. Anyways, Team Shizune will make it to the tower and will await the other team. Little do they know, Team Kakashi being attacked by the snake known as Orochimaru. Orochimaru is able to sink his teeth into Sasuke like in canon and will bellow, at last, I have my Yonuchiha body! As he gives Sasuke a hit, I mean, curse mark. Kiba will still try to get up and fight Orochimaru, even though he has been completely ravaged by him in this fight, which will cause Orochimaru to have a bit of interest in Kiba. Why do you still struggle, dog boy? He asked, taunting him a little bit. Because... I can't let you hurt my teammate like that. I have to surpass him one day, you see. Then, I need to surpass Naruto. I'll show them both who the real alpha is one day, Kiba answers. You are as boring as other members of your clan. However, I admire that tenacity. So, I will leave you a gift as well. Orochimaru says with a sickening grin on his face. Gift. What do you- Kiba then gets bitten by Orochimaru as he screams, the curse mark appearing on his neck. Blah! You taste like a dog. Oh well, at least I have a young Inusuka body to play with in case anything goes wrong with my young Uchiha body. I love young bodies so much. You like young bodies, huh, Orochimaru? Anyways, that Team 7 will make it to the tower because- plot reasons, and we'll see everyone who made the tuning exams originally make it in because why wouldn't they? Naruto and Komi will then be debriefed about the prelims, and everyone will have to fight someone at random, or in this case, fight who they originally fought in canon. Every fight will go the same up until it reached Naruto versus Kiba. Kiba was warned by Kakashi to not use the curse mark at all, and Kiba made sure they promised to never use it. The fight will begin, and we'll see Naruto get a clear upper hand as he continuously smacks Kiba around with his wood. Pause again. Anyways, as Kiba fights, and gets completely battered and bruised while Akamaro isn't any better. He'll be overcome with this desire to not lose. Can't lose again. Not to Naruto. Not to Sasuke. Not to anyone. He will show everyone who the real Alpha is. Then, all of a sudden, dark markings appear on him, and he will soon be overcome with a purple aura around him. Naruto and everyone in the arena is shocked, and Orochimaru is just really, really excited, as this kid is using his curse mark unlike Sasuke. He may want Sasuke's young body, but he got a really nice asset by sinking his teeth into Kiba as well. He's just giddy thinking about all the things the young Inusuke kid will be capable of in the future. It just makes his snake rise in anticipation. Kiba, meanwhile, will say with a dark feral look in his eyes, I'm not losing to you here, Naruto. Right here, right now. This is where I will surpass you and Sasuke, and you can't stop me. Hayate is about to call the match, but Naruto will stop him. Shizune and every other sensei is really confused, but Naruto will say, I'm not dumb. I can feel that dark energy from Kiba. I don't know what caused it, but none of that matters. If this is a fight Kiba wants, I'll give it to him. I don't want to win by forfeit. If you all think the fight is getting out of hand, you can stop him, but I want to fight him like this. I need to prove myself here in the face of these circumstances, I can still win. If I can't, then I'm not ready to become a Chunin. The join will back off reluctantly, and in the next part, round two of this fight will begin. how that go? Well, you'll have to find out in the next part. However, before I dip, question of the day, do you like the concept of Curse Mark Kiba? Let me know in the comments below. And finally, the other thing I want to bring up is the fate of Sasuke and Kiba. The most upvoted comment will determine which Yon body Orochimaru will get. Will he get Sasuke's Yonichiya body? Will he get Kiba's Yon Inusuka body? 
or will he get both? You decide. Unfortunately, there is no none of the above because Orochimaru will always find a way to get at least one Yun body. So again, let me know what happens to these two in the comments below. Thank you all for watching part three of what if Naruto is half Yuga, half Senju. Again, I hope you guys enjoy this series coming back and you guys should be at least enjoying this probably around the time of the end of the NFL playoffs. So I hope you guys had a pretty good postseason with some of your teams. I hope I did too because I've been recording this video in advance and the Eagles are right now in their bye week. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you all for watching until the end. And also, shout out to our patrons. They're on the screen. 20 our patrons, uh, Gabe Tidwell and Night Slasher. If you want more shows, shout out to my patrons. There's a link in the description. If you go to my 10 hour tier, you get early access to the script. And if you go to my 20 hour tier, you can see the video early, which I think it's a pretty fair deal. And finally, if you have any other videos you want me to make or something like that, let me know in the comments below about your ideas and such. I am on a bit of a schedule, but I'll see if I have time for some of your ideas. And finally, let's get to 65k. And that is all I have to say. It's been your boy, the MSH. Sign out. Peace. Your ha. Cue that outro.